So let's take half of three eighths. So here on our ruler, we have one inch. On our ruler, our tape measure, we have one inch. And here is three eighths right here. We want to take half of three eighths. One way to think about this is if we look at this in terms of eighths, we have here's one eighth right here, here's two eighths, and here's three eighths. It's a little bit awkward to cut this in half though because we have this odd number. So let's think in terms of sixteenths. So here's one sixteenth right here, two, three, four, five, six sixteenths. So three eighths, that's equal or equivalent to six sixteenths. These are equivalent fractions, same value, just written differently. Now I can pretty clearly see that here's right here is my halfway between these two distances here, and we have one, two, three sixteenths. So half of three eighths, that's going to be the three sixteenths. That's our halfway mark right there. So that's a good way to think about this. There is kind of a math way to do this. Let's take a look at that. What we can do is we're saying three eighths divided by two, but we're going to call it two over one. Still two, just things line up. And instead of division, we're going to multiply by the reciprocal. So we take the numerator, move it to the bottom. Denominator goes up to the top. That's the reciprocal. Now we're just multiplying. Three times one is three. Eight times two is sixteen. And three sixteenths. That's what we found before. So half of three eighths, that is three sixteenths. And if you add three sixteenths here plus another three sixteenths, you'll get three eighths. That's it. This is Dr. B taking half of three eighths. The answer is three sixteenths. Thanks for watching.